ओम स्थापकाय धर्म सेधर्मस्वूपिणे अवतारवरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम मै वेरी डियर मोनास्टिक ब्रदर्स स्वामी सुवीरानंद जी स्वामी सुहितानंद जी भजनानंद जी गिरीशानंद जी बोधसरानंद जी एंड बलभद्रानंद जी ऑल द अदर्स असेंबल्ड बिफोर मी एंड ऑल्सो शारदा मिशन सिस्टर्स एंड मई वेरी डियर डिवोटीज ऑफ रामकृष्ण विवेकानंद होली मदर टुडे एज यू ऑलरेडी हर्ड इज अ वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट डे not only in the history of ram krishna order in the very history of the of india or the history of the world itself now it is recognized that the message of swami ji which he carried the message of sri ram krishna message of our many religions and swami ji who converted who applied that religion and friendship to the humanity in the form of service to man is service to god so these messages are required by whole world and swami ji said that who will teach this to the whole world because mere words will not inspire anyone he who practices only can teach it swami ji had the great confidence that these indians this bharatiyas the in our the followers of the vaidik dharma from the ancient days we are the fit person to transmit this message to the whole world which it, which it, which it requires without which swami ji said the whole world will blow up because of the fires of materialism so that great message which missionary is now trying to propagate this ram krishna mutton mission this was started as you already heard from several speakers such the narration how it origin originated how the message of sri ram krishna or the mother swam was interpreted by swami vivekananda and he wanted to start an organization not that he did not know the the drawbacks of an organization he said as many speakers have pointed out that no permanent and great work can be done without organization no permanent and great work can be done without an organization it is to do a permanent and a very great work the work of whole humanity whole humanity if they have to live like brothers like one family of god vasudeva kutumbakam this swami ji's message of harmony which he inherited from his master bhagwan sri ram krishna has to be spread so that work is to be done by us so that great work is being done by this ram krishna mutton mission this was inaugurated and you have heard the several steps how this mission ke is coming up and trying to follow swami ji's great ideal that every one human being must have a twin ideal before him being born as a human being the goal of life is moksha he is seeing god or seeing our own infinite self and at the same time the society we live in we have to render our service to it also both to be combined and sri swami vivekananda ingeniously combined both in this ram krishna mutton mission he gave us the twin ideal of atmano mokshartham jagat hitaye cha have the ideal of attaining moksha realizing god realizing yourself part and parcel of god and at the same time work for the world also work for humanity as a whole 
working for humanity as a whole, Swami Vivekananda has turned our mind not only to work for our own country, but our country must lead the whole world in matters of spirituality. Because that has been our heritage we have got from our ancestors. More than 10,000 years back, from time of Rig Veda, we have been advocating the harmony of religions. And in the life of Sri Ramakrishna, we see it manifested. And he has imparted that spirit into Swamiji and the direct disciples. And through them, in a lineage of gurus, we are inheriting that spirit. So it is we, the, inherit, the inheritors of this spiritual heritage, we must spread it to the whole world. Swamiji was once asked by his disciple Sadhananda. Swamiji was morose on, the, on a day. Sadhananda asked him, Why is Swamiji you seem to be thinking something very serious? Swamiji said, I am thinking something serious. My master had asked me to awaken this country to its spiritual greatness and make this the leader of the world in spirituality. I don't know. I have not found the way, way yet. That's why I am really thinking, deeply thinking. So Swamiji's mission was to make this whole nation a nation of spiritual teachers for the whole world. And spirituality is it required by the world. Swamiji said, without it, it will go into pieces. It is sitting on a volcano. Without this spiritual message, the West is sitting on a volcano. It can blow into pieces at any time. So the spirituality of India must flow. Swamiji was so weird. So it was very clear. Swamiji did not speak like an ordinary person, as some of these speakers have already told you. So I, I noted, all of them have stressed the divine force behind Swamiji's words. And I noticed all of you clapping very, very, very much. Sri Ramsev Bandhopadhyay. He went on stressing how Swamiji worked for everything. He wanted spiritual guidance and Swamiji got it. This part we forget. We think Swamiji is a great leader. He was an intellectual giant. He could see future. It was not that. Sri Ramakrishna guided him every step. In one of his letters in West, he wrote to a friend, I wanted to come on such and such a day. I had to postpone it because I wait for orders from above to move from one place to another. Swamiji was just an instrument in the hand of Sri Ramakrishna. So when he started this Ramakrishna Martin mission, he asserted this in the end when some people doubted. Of course, it's a very, very new ideology. And Swamiji knew it is very practical. But we had yet to know its practicality. Even now, so we don't, we are not 100% convinced this is the best ideology. So at that time, some people doubted it. He convinced them, only saying, I am being made to do this one by Sri Ramakrishna. What can I do? Sri Ramakrishna could have got it done through anyone. He can create thousand Vivekanandas by a wish. But he has selected me to do this one. He is getting everything done through me. Have faith in this. You will see great things happen. These words of him, they silenced everyone, not for that time being, for all times to come. And we can never think that this mission is Sri Ramakrishna's teachings. Sri Ramakrishna taught this. That is why one of the speakers was telling Swamiji's ideas, Sri Ramakrishna's ideas are infinite. And each idea is possible to be expressed in a million ways. So how can you say that Sri Ramakrishna did not advocate this mission. So he had in his teachings that a world mission like this will be born. Actually, he laid the foundation in the form of Ramakrishna Mutt by initiating the first 16 people, the direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna. So anyway, Swami Vivekananda did this great historical, spiritual thing for us 
1897 and it is uh, it is 127 years now it is growing day by day swami ji said at the message i have given is for the next 1500 years this is only 150 years already we are all over the world there is no continent where we are not but it is only 150 another 1350 50 years are there just imagine how this this message may, may spread how people will feel one with one another how humanity will feel that it is a unit with a family of god and what wonderful boon it should be for this whole of humanity so swami ji did this i many times think about this day it is the western countries they call this day as our unesco has declared it as universal labor day i always tell youngsters universal labor who is there all the other nations have got american labor day or russian labor day or japanese labor day only we the ram krishna mission we are the universal labor day we are the laborers of the whole world whole universe so that's why on this universal labor day swami ji had the vision to start this so we are on this mission so i don't want to tell much you have heard all important things about it so swami ji gave us the a new path this path of serving society and through that serving of society itself uh, getting getting help to progress spiritually and attain to the real goal of human life the moksha so he has given us the path to achieve both abhyudaya and nishreyasa our dharma says that you should progress in this worldly life also dharma artha kama moksha dharma artha kama will give you success and and peace and joy whatever is is possible in this world you get it by following dharma and artha kama according to dharma and the final should be moksha that is nishreyasa so abhyudaya and nishreyasa dharma artha kama also we want we want moksha also so this abhyudaya and nishreyasa both of them can be achieved through this swami ji's path of working atmano mokshartham jagat dhitaycha we have all our goal as our human life's goal as moksha we want to realize god which sri ramkrishna again and again said that can be the only goal for human life you should know yourself as one with god and you are for that knowledge of that one your life must be dedicated but at the same time to the society what shall we do we shall do them also good thinking that god alone is there in every one sri ram krishna alone is in every one in all women only holy mother is there thinking god alone is in every being we serve all our relief work all our hostels all our colleges all our children's activities all our welfare activities everywhere we come across men women we always consider god is coming to us in so many ways one of the great swami of our order swami ati shuranand ji wrote me in a letter i am here in nagpur i am initiating continuously for last several days several every day so many people come i feel sri ram krishna and holy mother are coming to me in so many forms so this is the vision that great people had this is the vision we must have and we are having by their grace and that is why incessantly we are able to do a successfully relief work welfare work and yet remain untired so many people start some relief some social work after 10 years they give it up why do you say why did you give it up ah, those people are so ungrateful to us so we will left it up so you don't care for their ungratefulness so it is what what is your goal of sir working it is not for anybody's gratefulness i work i work for my own self realization 
one of the paths is this service of narayana in through the human beings nara narayana seva so shiva jnana jeeva seva this great message some, some great swami called it as seva yoga swami ji himself was very proud of this path he told swami turiyanand ji once it is written turiyam to hari bhai i have given a new path to the people now which, which was which was attained by jesus by prayer by buddha by meditation these boys will attain that very state through this shivajnana jeeva seva turiyanand swami was called a brahmajnani of the high order he was himself once he himself told you see people think that i am a ordinary brahmajnani they think i am a stita prajna i am not that i am the, i don't think that is world is unreal i consider this world also is real i accept dvaita i accept avishita dvaita i accept advaita i am a ram krishna's jnani i am ram krishna's parma jnani so there is a speciality such a great person said if you follow this swami ji's method for 3 days dedicating your to whatever work you do is only guru maharaj's work whatever you see is only sri ram krishna himself everywhere with this attitude if you work for only 3 days you will realize your atma swami turiyanand ji declares like that so this truest method of achieving our own life's goal of moksha and serving the society not only in our country the whole world so we are given this ram krishna martan mission swami ji called this ram krishna martan mission as the physical body of sri ram krishna again and again he tells this ram krishna martan mission is the physical body of sri ram krishna you want to serve sri ram krishna serve the sangha so the sangha has got branches everywhere wherever sri ram krishna is worshiped holy mother says he is there so if you help sri ram krishna's work that is working for the poor people working with them as considering themselves expression of narayana himself they are all shivas in the form of jeevas considering god to be within every human being serve them this will be a great boon to you it will help your spiritual progress also so this great ram krishna mat mission swami ji placed before us as the physical manifestation of sri ram krishna we are so lucky so blessed that sri swami vivekananda created this and it has been accepted by all the direct disciples and there is no doubt swami sri ram krishna himself is there in this mutton mission swami ji said who ever help this mission he is serving sri ram krishna himself so let us all combine together not only those that are assembled here those that are not buses assembled here also not only in our country in the whole all the countries of the world may we all rally around this ideal of atmana mokshartham jagat dichaycha to manifest which this ram krishna martan mission has come i close with one small incident that is some of what i have repeated so many times it suffers repetition in when i was in along arunachal pradesh we, we were taking a group of boys a small boys of class 7 8 6 7 about 40 boys to delhi so from arunachal to pradesh to delhi we halted at agra to see the taj mahal so we went to the taj mahal we enjoyed it came back and we were waiting on the platform of agra to take the next train to delhi about 80 80 90 miles so our boys were loitering about on the platform and i see the arunachali boys they look like chinese they look like tibetans and they talk hindi also you see because we teach them from abc along with abc i i hindi also 
So they speak Hindi and English both, even for small fellows. So they are moving about, talking in Hindi, talking in English. And so they suspected whether they were Christian boys who were speaking in English. And then again they speak Hindi. They thought somewhere they may be Tibetans or Bhutanese or somebody. So one of them approached one of our boys. He was hardly 11, 12 years old boy. He asked him, who are you? Are you Christians? Are you Mahmudans? Are you Buddhists? Then this boy, this boy answered them, yes, we are Christians, we are Buddhists, we are Mahmudans, we belong to Ram Krishna mission. We never taught, we never taught Ram Krishna mission accepts all the religions as our own religion. How did the children learn? It was a practical demonstration in our prayer hall, where these 200 boys of the hostel daily would pray. They would pray for four prayers in different languages about Sri Ramakrishna Mother. And then on the dais, we had kept five pictures, Sri Ramakrishna and Jesus, Buddha, Zoroaster and Nanak. All the five religions and center is Sri Ramakrishna all on the same pedestal, same size, and it decorated in the same with one flower vase. And we would ask these children to give, to show the Agarbati before all the five. They have learned by the simple method that all the five religions are equal. We, have, we must revere all the religions. The small boy, he told, told that the answer that we belong to Ramakrishna mission. We are Buddhists, we are Mahmudans, we are everybody. So this is the great message. By following ourselves, we must preach. That tells, so may Sri Ram Krishna, Holy Mother and Swamiji, bless us all that we live up to their expectation, up to the expectation of Swami Vivekananda, up to the expectation of Sri Ram Krishna. May we make our lives blessed and bring great blessings to this humanity also. Jai Ram Krishna. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.